Have you ever had an idea while you were driving or let important information from like a lecture kind of pass you by because you couldn't capture it fast enough? I mean, we've all been there. We lose a lot of our great ideas because we have nothing to write with or we just can't get them down fast enough. When I was in school, this was actually my biggest problem. I was busy writing down what, what I just heard while more information was just being thrown at me and I couldn't capture things fast enough. But what if I told you that the solution is actually quite simple and is most likely right in your pocket? If you're an iPhone user, that is. Today, I'm going to share with you how you can use Apple Notes to document and help you work faster so that you never miss an idea again. Let me show you how. So to get started, uh, we need to, of course, open up an Apple Notes uh, page or an Apple Notes, uh, a new Apple Notes page. So. What you'll see here is right at the top, uh, you'll see a paper clip. If you click on the paper clip there, uh, it'll give you a few options. Uh, the option that we're looking for is record audio. So if I click on record audio, it'll actually pull up a uh, audio recording um, software. And then you would just record what you wanna record uh, through your voice. So let's get started. This is a test of the Apple Notes feature of audio recording to uh, transcribing it into text format. Now, if you uh, look up here in the top right corner, you'll see kind of a quote, uh, quote speech bubble. If I click on that, you'll actually see the text being transcribed as I'm speaking, which is really uh, neat to see. Would you look at that? What's really cool about this feature is that when you play it back, you can actually select what's on the screen. Uh, you can actually click on uh, the word, let's say, like transcribe as I'm speaking, which is really uh, neat to see. Would you look at that? Now, I'm not sure if you can hear the audio separately. Uh, I'm not so advanced with my ed video editing yet. You can start uh, by looking uh, by start the audio anywhere in the text that you want. Like for this, example, now, if, if you, you want the word now. Uh, look up here in the top right corner, you'll see kind of a quote, uh, quote speech bubble. So you can actually decide where to start um, playing back your audio. What's even cooler is if you click on these ellipses here, the three dots on the top right corner, you have the ability to be able to now search through the text. So let's say, for example, this was a recording of like a one hour lecture in class and you kind of want to, uh, you, you remember your professor or your teacher mentioning something about like transcribing or something fancy. You can actually uh, click on this button here to say find in transcript. And when you click on that, you can actually type in the word that you're looking for. So in the lecture, let's say you remember your teacher talking about um, a speech bubble. And then what it's going to be able to do is that you're going to be able to actually find the words uh, within the transcript and speech then bubble. go back to if it and that, start playing. You'll actually back see from that particular the text word, being which is a really cool feature, speaking, I think. Which is really uh, neat to see. Would you look at that? So it's really cool that you're able to now have your audio uh, be searchable through text. So you can search back and you can go back and search for any part of the audio recording that you want and listen back to it. Hey, I just wanted to record this because I'm actually at a conference today. I just wanted to demonstrate uh, how I use Apple Notes uh, during lectures and the presenters that are sharing. Um, I just turned it on. As you can, you'll probably see that I'm a few rows back and in one video, I'm actually at the very, very back just to test to see how accurately uh, the transcript is. But you'll notice in, uh, in the video, I'm just going to show you because I didn't want to talk during the lecture, of course. So uh, you'll notice in the video that I have a split screen. On one half of the screen, um, the audio transcription is happening. On the other side of the screen, I have myself just typing one word or one sentence reminders of uh, what I want to search up later um, from the transcript so that I know uh, what I want to look up and re-listen to um, uh, during the, the lecture that I thought was very interesting. I think that audio recording feature is super useful, especially now that it transcribes it into words. You can search anything you want within an audio recording and have it play it back to you, which is super handy when it comes to 
trying to recall or going back to a conversation that you may have had or going back to a lesson that uh, you've learned. But what if you're trying to capture something that's not an audio, but it's more a text? Apple Notes is actually able to copy and paste, if you will, those printed texts and put them into your Apple Notes for you. I'll show you how that works. So I'm going to open up a, a new note here. Um, and again, I'm going to go back to the paperclip that's at the top of the screen. And when I click on that paperclip, this time it gives me those options again. And this time I'm going to select the scan text option. And what that's going to do is it's going to actually pull up the camera uh, to be to allow me to point it towards the text that I wanted to copy and paste uh, into Apple Notes. So I'll uh, select cop, uh, scan text. Now this would be very useful if you were at a lecture or a presentation where uh, someone had a slide or PowerPoint presentation that was very text heavy, you can just point and shoot and have it uh, copy and paste that text straight into Apple Notes for you. Uh, in my example, I'm going to be using uh, a book where Thomas Edison's quote would be uh, something that I'm trying to copy. So I'm going to select scan text. I'm going to point it to the text I want. And that's the text I want by Thomas Edison. So you can see that it's highlighted. It says, if we did the things we are capable of doing, we would literally astound ourselves, Thomas Edison. And now that it's copied and pasted into Apple Notes, you can manipulate it, you can search from it, just like you did, uh, just like you were able to with the transcription of the audio, which is fantastic. Now that I have my thoughts and uh, notes documented uh, in Apple Notes, this is where things get really crazy. I'm going to use the text that it generated, the transcription that it generated, and put it into an AI program like ChatGPT or Gemini. Today I'm going to be using Claude, and I'm going to ask it to help me uh, produce a community post uh, script. And it'll be, it'll do 90% of the heavy lifting. And of course, I'll have to uh, go and proofread and make sure it, it's, it sounds like uh, the way I want it to sound like. But it's super helpful to be able to convert those ideas and those notes into a useful post. So as you can see on my screen, um, I have the audio transcription that Apple Notes took for me earlier. I'm going to just highlight that, copy, and paste it. Uh, into Claude AI. I'm going to be using Claude AI today, but you can use any other AI software that you please. Um, I've put a, a short prompt in there asking Claude AI to write me a YouTube community post script. And if you're interested, I'll put the, uh, the prompt, uh, exact prompt that I used in the description below. So you can uh, use it yourself or tweak it a little bit to see uh, uh, how it suits your needs. I'm going to copy and paste that uh, audio transcription that Apple Notes gave me uh, into Cloud AI and see what it generates for me. Now, just very briefly reading this post, it looks great. Of course, uh, I'm going to have to take this and copy and paste it into uh, a Word doc and just edit it the way uh, I want it to sound and read. But I think for a first draft, that's pretty good and it's very usable. These new features with Apple Notes has been a game changer with my workflow. I'm finally able to record my thoughts and ideas quickly without losing them and the ideas that are shared from other people with me. And on top of that, it converts it into a text format that's super usable that I can use other tools to be able to use the information that was given to me as well and that was uh, documented. It's been super fun working with Apple Notes and I highly encourage you to try it yourself and see what it can do for you. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like and subscribe. And if you have any other features on Apple Notes that you would like to share, please share them with me in the comments below. I genuinely want to thank you for spending your time with me today, and I really hope to see you in the next one. Bye.